My name is Jenna Kyra and I am your head counselor for this week. Welcome to Jumpstart Summer Camp. As you may already know, we're sharing some great activities that you can follow along to on our Jumpstart Instagram channel that will be posted every day of the week for the rest of the summer. This week is all about terrific teams. Together, we'll learn about teamwork and how you can be the best teammate possible. A little bit about me. I've been playing softball since I was four years old. I'm a current member and co-captain of our Canadian Women's National Softball Team. I'm a two-time world's bronze medalist and a three-time Pan Am medalist. I'm really excited to invite our other teammates here where they're gonna lead us in our warm-up, workout, and cool down. It's time to get up and get moving. Let's go. What's up, Jumpstart Campers? I'm Enoch Mwamba. I play professional football in the CFL for the Montreal Alouettes. It's terrific team week, and I'm excited and honored to be able to lead you guys in some exercises so you guys can be ready to go. So are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? I can't hear you. Are you ready? All right, here we go. This is how we're going to warm up. We're going to warm up. We're going to start with this, okay? We're going to start with what's called high knees. It's very simple. Your knees have to go very high, like such and such. So I want you to get into a running motion, and every time your knee goes up, the opposite arm has to also go up. So if your left knee goes up, your right arm goes up. When your right knee goes up, your left arm goes up. So it'll look something like this. Those are called high knees. So that's what I want you guys to do. Can you do it? Can you do them with me? Can you do them with me? All right, let's go. Let's get, some, let's get to the high knees. Let's go. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. We're gonna do 20 of these. 20 of these. I want you to get your knees really, really, really high. Really high. I'm going to demonstrate it again. I'm going to do 10 more. But I want you guys to do the ten, uh, 20 of them, and I want you to do them twice. Okay? I know you guys can do it. So let's go. 20 of them, and I want you to do get your knees really, really high, and your arms also got to get high as your opposite knee goes up high. So let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Get your knees up. Get them higher. Higher. I know you can do it higher than that. Good job. Good job. So you do 20 of those. And there's another option actually you can do. You can also choose to just do standing knee raises at the same time. And so what you do then is just simply raise your knee. Raise your knee. Raise your knee. And in the same way, you can also get your knee as high as you can. So make sure you challenge yourself, get your knee as high as you can. So either do the high knees running motion or just simply raise your knee up. Raise your knee up, get it higher. Raise your knee up, raise your knee up. And I want you to do 20 of those as well. And so you count one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all the way to 20, and you'll be ready to go. I'm going to challenge you guys to do one more thing. While you're doing the second set of your high knees, I want you to tap on your, on your thigh right there. And so every time your knee comes up, I want you to tap. And it's going to look something like this, right? You hear that? That's what I want to hear from you guys. So let me hear it. Let me hear it. Give me 20 of those for the second set as well. Let me hear it. Let me hear it louder. A louder tap. I need a louder tap. Good job. Good job. And at the same thing, same thing with the knee raises. I want you to tap, 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 opposite arm, tap, opposite arm, tap, opposite arm, tap. Opposite arm tap, opposite arm tap, and I want 20 of those. One more time. Let me hear it. Let me hear the taps. Good job. Good job. Hey, Summer Campers. It's Giselle Landry, captain of the Women's Rugby Sevens team, 
Olympian and bronze medalist and training for the Tokyo Olympics. So before our team does any workout, we make sure we warm up really well. Today, our first warm up exercise is a jumping grid. So I've set up four cones here. If you don't have cones, you could use socks or something at home. So you're gonna start in the middle, you're gonna jump forward, come back to the middle, sideways, back to the middle, other side, back to the middle, backward, back to the middle. Once you go around all four cones, that's one round and we're gonna do five rounds. So again, forward, side, other side, back. Once you've done that five times, good job. Our second warm up exercise is gonna be a bear crawl. So we're gonna get down on our hands and our feet. Our back is flat and our knees are off the ground. So we're gonna crawl forward, five meters backward, and then turn to the side and you'll see my knees are off the ground and move sideways for five meters and then back the other way. Okay, now that our body's getting nice and warm, we're gonna get our rugby ball. So if you don't have a rugby ball at home, use any other ball or a household item like a pillow. So these are called rugby burpees. So we're gonna put the ball on the ground. So we're gonna drop down chest to ball, pop back up, pick up the ball, put the ball back on the ground and same thing. So we're gonna do five rugby burpees. One, two, three, four, five. That's a good one. Another very important part of warming up as a rugby player is making sure our hand-eye coordination is ready to go. So grab your rugby ball. You're gonna start juggling back and forth between your fingertips. So the palm of my hand is not touching the ball. We're gonna go up to the sky and then down all the way to our feet. That's one, we're gonna do five. So that's two. Keep juggling all the way through, up to the sky, down to our feet. That's three. Four. And last one. Five. Now that our body's nice and warm, let's have a great workout. Right now, it's a little bit hard to be around your teammates, so we're going to show you a few ways that you can work out with your teammates, but from a distance, over video chat, or you could even grab a family member. We are going to do four exercises. The first one is called a shoulder press. So working on at home, I personally don't have access to weights, so i just going to grab some cans from my pantry. Um, and the way that we're going to do this one together is that Nicole is just going to count while I do these, and I'm going to do seven. So we go like this. You good? Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good job, Heidi. The next exercise we're doing is a sit up. So Nicole is going to do this one, and as a teammate, I'm going to cheer her on. We are going to use encouragement. I'm going to do seven again. Keep the number consistent. So you just lay down and then just keep your feet up like your knees up like this, feet on the ground. Her arms are like this behind her head. One. Yes, you're doing great. Three. Three. Keep going. Four. You're over halfway there. Five. Yes. Six. One more. One more. Seven. Yay. Thanks, okay. Heidi. Um, our third exercise, we are going to do squats, and the way that we're going to do this together is by doing it together. <laughs> so we're going to have to stand up, get some space. Another way to do this exercise is to have a chair behind you, something to balance on, something to hold on in front if you need as well. So let's just do seven. Okay, ready? Go. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, great job. Almost done. Our last exercise is 
not really an exercise, but it's kind of a race. So the last way to incorporate teamwork and stuff into working out is by adding a little bit of competition. Um, so we're just gonna move some stuff. We're gonna use the fence. We're gonna back up and touch the fence and then we're gonna go forward to touch the can. We're gonna do that seven times again. <laughs> it's a friendly competition, so we're working together, we're supporting each other, but we're still gonna try and go as fast as we can. We'll touch the can to start and then back. And we're gonna stay facing forwards the whole time. Okay, ready? Set, go. go. Run backwards. One. Try not to slip. Two. Literally, don't fall. Three. Go, hide to go. Get the head. Woo. Four. Four. No. <laughs> Five. One. One. Um, thank you for doing this with us, and hopefully you had fun doing this as well. Thanks, campers. All right, Jumpstar Camp kids. We're almost there. We're almost done. Now, we're going to relax. We're going to cool down. I know you got a little bit of sweat built up. I hope that you use your towels, wipe the sweat off, drink some water and hydrate, and let's finish strong. It's the most important thing. Finish strong. And so we're gonna cool down. It's extremely important for your bodies, okay? So we're gonna stand up straight, stand up straight, and all we're gonna do now, slowly try and reach to our toes. Reach to our toes. Keep reaching, reaching, reaching. Reaching, reaching, reaching. If you can't go any further, you hold it. But if you can, you keep going. Reach, reach, reach. Reach, reach, reach. Reach, reach, reach. And touch your toes. Touch your toes and hold it. We're going to go back up. And we're going to go down again. We're going to do that three times. This time, go ahead and reach and touch your toes. Tickle yourself. If you laugh, it's okay. And up. And last time, down, hold your toes, hold your big toes, look at them, and up. What we're going to do next, we're going to open up our legs a little wider and touch the floor. And up. We're going to do that three times as well. Take your time with this is the important thing. Down. And up. Open up a little bit wider. Down. And up. That's three. But if you are able to, and if you choose to, you can go wider, wider, as wide as you can, and try and touch the floor without falling down. Touch it. Good job. Now we're gonna stay right here. We're gonna be at wider legs and we're gonna reach on one side. Reach, 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 reach. Good job. Reach on the other side. Reach, 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 reach. Good job. Other side. We're gonna touch each side three times. And the other side. Take your time and slow. Good job. Next, we're gonna come back to the center. We're gonna stand up straight, stand tall. And I want you to just take a deep breath, the deepest breath you can take. All right, ready? One, two, three. And open up your arms. Take all the air in. And let it out. One more time. Get ready to take all the air in. 
As you do that, your arms go up slowly. And out. Exhale. One more time. All the air you can take. All the air you can take and let it out. And out. So I want to do that three times. I want you guys to do that three times. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to stand this in the same place. And what we're going to do is we're going to reach to one side. As such, feel the stretch right under your arm, going all the way down to your hip. Feel it, feel it, and down. Deep breath in, reach the other side. Oh, feel the stretch. I feel it all the way down my arm, to your hip, to your hip, and down back to the other side. If you want, you can open up all your legs a little bit. Give some distance between your feet. I want that three times and hold it for five seconds. Four, three, you can do it. Two, one, and down. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, and down. Good job. Good job. Good job, campers. And I hope that you enjoy Terrific Team Week with Jumpstart Camp. See you next time. This is Enoch Mwamba with the Montreal Alouettes. Thanks so much, guys. Well, that's all from us here at Jumpstart Summer Camp. We'll be back here again tomorrow at 8.30 a.m. and every weekday for the rest of the summer. See you soon.